Hi everyone, so I'm sorry it's been so long since I last did a video, you know, I actually just started, you know, college and it's been a lot of work, but anyways, let's get right into this, so I'm, earlier today actually, I was on Reddit, I was looking up, um, because I was trying to see if it's possible to run um, Doom 3 BFG Edition on Windows 2000. And I came across this particular Reddit post. Someone was asking, you know, because I, apparently what they were saying was they played Doom 3, the vanilla, this is the vanilla Doom 3, on XP 7 and Windows 10. But... They've never done it on 2000, and they can't find any footage of it. So, and and the, they were just, they wanted to see if there was any footage. Because, you know, for the vanilla Doom 3 and the Resurrection of Evil, that's the, the earliest version of Windows that it natively supports. So, I have my, I, I was thinking, because no one responded, and I actually told the guy I'd be making a video on this, but, and, um, so I was thinking, how about I show you guys this rig I'm running with Windows 2000 dual 1080p AOC monitors, 1920, dual 1920 by 1080 monitors, and, um, this is actually, um, fairly modern hardware, I mean, it's not my, my, uh, 12900K, but, See, we have a hot swappable drive bay, DVD drive. I actually gave my 12900K to my to my best friend because I was like, I want to challenge myself. Use some older hardware as my main machine because I figured I don't need a 12900K even though I could use it. So I was like, I ended up just using um, an i7... Um, my main machine is running an i7-2600 with Windows 7, but this one has an i3-9100F. So there's, um, I'm running a Gigabyte B365 DS3H board. I'm running a, uh, GTX 460 for the video card. Now, that was the one that my, my friend originally had, but, um... I, you know, you might be think you guys might be thinking that, you know, isn't the G47 series the last one that supports uh, Windows 2000? And that's really what I thought until recently, where apparently you can use, for the G4 series, you can use up to the 258.96 driver on Windows 2000. It's, it's, uh... It says Windows, it's labeled as Windows XP, but Windows 2000 works perfectly fine. So, that ended up working fine. And, yeah, it actually works on vanilla 2000 without the extended kernel. I have the extended kernel, not the extended core, but just so I can get on modern websites, you know, I can use, like, Firefox 52 and stuff like that. If we go to the, take a look at the back, I'm actually using a PS2 keyboard because for some reason the modded Intel USB 3 driver I'm using was not working even after I, well I had to use it to install Windows 2000 because I tried, you know, for Windows 2000 integrating that USB driver won't work, so... I had to, you know, but even afterwards, for some reason, it just wasn't recognizing USB keyboards, so I had to use keep using the PS2 one, and then for the US, for the mouse, I was able to use USB. For the Ethernet and audio, it's Realtek, which obviously is, for legacy support, Realtek is your best bet by far. Um, yes, did I say the power supply already? 
Yeah, CX six fifty M. Um, yeah, this board actually has onboard VGA, which for a three hundred series board is pretty impressive. I lost the I/O shield to this board, so there's no, there's no. That's why there's no I/O shield. It's not because I forgot to put it in. And then um, also besides two thousand, I actually have Windows. 8.1 installed. I have a 970 e 250 gig 970 Evo in there. So you know, so I have but unfortunately 2000 as far as I know doesn't have any native or um modded N.2 drive NVMe drivers, so yeah, 16 gigs of RAM. Um, but with that said, um, yeah, if we take a look here and I'll be putting where I got them for the, I'm using the onboard SATA. I'm running a one terabyte Hitachi hard drive, um, as the installation, which obviously even with the extended kernel for windows 2000, that's just extremely overkill. I mean, that's a lot of space for 2000. So, but yeah, if we go to my computer, yeah, I'll be putting in the description where I got, you know, maybe that Reddit post and like the, the MSFN forum where I got the SATA and USB drivers. Here's the little specs for four cores only we're only using 257 megs of ram right now and which is pretty good and um oh and by the way with this usb driver i don't think uh acpi won't work it won't work with acpi and it won't work with um uh, pae like so you can get more than four gigs of ram but to be fair, I mean, I don't think, for starters, PAE makes it less stable. And two, um, it, four gigs of RAM is probably plenty for Windows 2000. So, device manager, yeah, I'm at, of course, besides, on modern hardware in particular, there's no... And trust me, I tried uh, Blackwing Cats modded ACPI driver for 2000, and that didn't work. So I'm kind of just using MPS. Um, display adapters, GTX 460, and then if we go down here. There's the Intel, well, it's USB 3.0, but it says 3.1, but it still works really well. Now, I guess let's go to get to the moment of truth and launch Doom 3. You know, maybe eventually I'll make a small tutorial, like, on how to, like, I know for XP there's, um, that patch integrator where it'll do it automatically but I'll show you guys how to how to manually replace that ACPI driver but you know ACPI in general is not as stable so it's usually better to use MPS if, if possible oh yeah give me one second guys yeah, so I still had it in a uh, windowed mode. So now we can go ahead and start it. And seeing as we're running a dual monitor, turn up the speakers a bit. But yeah, there we go. Doom 3 running on. And obviously, again, this isn't even a virtual machine. This is a... Uh, Solid 
Rock Solid 2000. We could we could start a new game. Yeah, I try, I would say I wish I could have done a screen recording, but I tried a couple different pieces of software, and even Bandicam wasn't cooperating. I mean, there was video, but the audio wasn't working, and so that ended up being a dud. So I just kind of. Yeah, we can just skip that. Yeah, see, we can start. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. It's very hard doing this with one hand. Welcome to Mars. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. Yeah, I can hardly do this. Oh shoot. But you guys get kind of get the idea. Doom 3 works very, very well on 2000. You know. And here there's people actually trying to get this working on wind. Even on uh, Windows 11, which I would never go to, because there's just too much, too much garbage. I'm avoiding Windows 10, let alone 11, but that kind of gives you an idea of what it's like to run Doom 3 on um, Windows uh, 2000, and... You know what, maybe, yeah, I'll be putting that uh, Reddit link in, but, so, I think that's pretty much it for this video, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick video on that, and then, and then, and then, um, and then hopefully that person that, You know, I'll I'll post the link in that Reddit, and he'll see it. And yeah, I just I always have wondered though, like why do it seem? I mean, of course, XP supported, especially later XP, kind of just supported a lot more games and stuff. But honestly, I kind of prefer two thousand XP myself. So. Anyways, guys, I think that's that's pretty. There's really not much else to do. That's playing running Doom Three on here was kind of the main point of the video. So, all right, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.